This is the S&P 500 one day reading for May 15th, 2023. It's currently April 9th, 2023, 5.51 p.m. Eastern time. And the shuffle file we're about to play was created on February 26th, 2023 at 5.45 p.m. Eastern time. That's this file right here. The overall theme and behavior for the day, it's it's a little tricky because it's a nullified card. In, in other words, the theme card has no correlation, no no relationship with any of the cards on the timeline. If you want to learn more about SO Meta Analysis, guys, check out our website, Tarot for Traders. Um, we actually sell the book on here. You can also get it on um, Amazon and Kindle has it. It's really the only, only uh, book of its level on the subject i might be biased but i don't think i don't think i'm just biased i think it's truth um behavior around the uh highest high we have a brief peak an opportunity at a brief peak that's easily missed behavior around the lowest low um the establishment of uh, or re-establishment of support interesting Yeah, so there's there's an important price level at the low, and it looks like there's an important price level around the high. So this is a pretty choppy day. I'm um, advised to trade around an unexpected move to the upside that'll stand out on a one-day chart. Usually the star card will often, not usually, but often the star card will, uh, it'll, it'll foretell of a, a significant move higher that starts out of a decline, making it kind of unexpected in a lot of cases. <clears throat> in the pre-market, we have a U-shaped dip that forms near the intersection of two perpendicular diagonal trend lines. Um, we're bound by uh, a, a range on like a one-day char chart kind of scale here around the open, and it looks like it's probably to... It's uh, bound, bound by the upper end of a range there, like around the opener in the first half hour at an important price level. That'll be a significant technical price level on like a, year, a one year, at least a one month chart, but probably on a one year scale. Um, there's a bit of a rally there um, in that first in that first like half hour. There's a little bit of a rally. The rally offers an opportunity to open up a short position. Um, and then we kind of like peek through resistance. We stay above it briefly. Then we break back down through the same price level, followed by a notable decline. Followed by a notable de decline from a high to a low. Uh, it's a little tricky. It's either from a high to a low or from a low to a high. But the high and the low will take place there around the... Uh, middle part of the day and the and the low is going to be at an important technical price level. It'll be important um, Out of the out of that like That big move in pr and price change I think probably what happens is we go from high down to low and then back to a high um, like reaching for a distant resistance there between the noon and one o'clock or two o'clock I should say and then that's probably like the last time we see like the uh, Well, maybe not there's kind of like a peak there followed by a decline between roughly two and three a decline Into the three o'clock hour through multiple support levels somewhere around the three o'clock hour uh, There's an opportunity in the midst of sideways fluctuating decline to open up a long position and then right around the clock the close we see a, a really notable move on a one day scale from the bottom of a range to the top of a range um, there's a trade opportunity there at the close and then in the post market looks like we decline to a support level that we recently met once before on a one day scale it's probably a support level that we saw we, we met earlier in the day um, and then as far as volume is concerned it's pointing towards negative overall volume or bearish volume overall So my sense is that probably there's a support level that's tested 
and it may not hold. That's that may be a one way to read a nullified emperor card in the theme position. Um, and then the sneak preview for the following day, most likely we open higher at a crest or peak. It might be the same price level that we've topped off around in the in the morning session. Um, this move higher through resistance and then back, back down through the same price level shortly thereafter. It might be around the same price level that we see tomorrow, but there's a crest there that we sell off from down to and through support. We do a U-shape reversal, come back and reuse that support as support. That's support on a one day scale. Um, that's the S&P 500 for May 15, 2023. Let me know what you think by hitting that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Most importantly, my friends, make sure to follow that rule of karma. You do that here uh, as a thank you to the channel, 5% of the profits that you make from this information back to the channel here at PayPal Cash App. Much appreciated, my friends. And then for all you angel investors out there, another 5% of the profits that you make from the information on this channel, donate it to one of these charities. These are great charities. Um, if you, or in, unless you have another way to do it. But uh, if, if you're looking for an easy way to pay it forward, 5% for it here, that leaves you with 90% of the profits you, you didn't have to begin with without the information. So make sure that you spend that money out of love and the universe will reward you by sending it back to you tenfold from all directions, my friends. I'll see you on the next one.